Hello again, it's Brendan with the Brendan's Aquaponics Farm. Just want to bring you an update. We're in uh, mid-April here. Ordered uh, tilapia, and so I've got the White Nile tilapia, as you can see there, about 40 of them in there. I left some of the goldfish in there. One, to keep some waste going in the main tank, and uh, two, I'm going to keep these goldfish that are in here over winter. Uh, I'll have to harvest all the tilapia because they won't probably won't be able to make it, but we'll see. White Nile apparently can go down to... 65 degrees so if that's the case we'll be in luck but if not I'll have to harvest uh, these are the goldfish that used to be in the tank uh, about 40 of them are in here so they're still producing waste and I'm using this um, pump that I have here to pull them into the radio filter every day I come out and I cycle the water just to get the waste into the system um, so I can still have them uh, producing uh, you know fertilizer for my plants or ammonia at least and so uh, so it feeds into here so it works out well I just trade that off every now and again except for the first day when I forgot and I overflowed uh, and lost about 50 gallons so uh, definitely have to be out here while it's going on um, if you've been uh, I don't think I've got many a video of him yet but that's Rex right there he's a Blanco and uh, the tank was getting real dirty the sump tank as well as the fish tank so I got this little monster, and he has just, in eight days, cleaned this thing from completely black and green to what you see here, and uh, as well as the fish tank, cleaned it top to bottom. So um, next I'm going to throw him into here so he can clean up some of the algae that's grown from the sunlight. Um, I'm a little nervous that he might be eating too much, and that's going to take some nutrients out of the system, but from what I hear... As long as I'm monitoring, uh, should be fine. I think there's plenty to go around. The fish are producing a lot of waste. I don't really think the algae um, is, is too important since I do have the biomedia that's going to be converting that. So, anywho, uh, that's the latest on that. Uh, the biomedia, I'll turn on in a minute here. I got the fan off just so you can hear me talk, but really browning up. I think the temperature has a lot to do with that, um, but it's really looking good. Still got the lettuce in here just to uh, use some of the nutrients out of the system. All the little sticks you see there are new herbs that I've planted. Um, everything from basil, a um, couple different kinds of basil, chives, dill, thyme. And I got some okra up front here and a little one popping up. So uh, cilantro in the back. I think it's going to be too hot. I think someone mentioned I couldn't do that, but I'm just putting it in a try. And then I got some mint over here that's really doing well, except for I think the roots are going to cause a problem because they're just everywhere. Again, cabbage just to kind of suck up some nutrients here. Uh, two plants doing really well off system. My fruit tree is doing well, or fruit bush, it's like a dwarf. And then my curry tree, which is uh, finally acclimated to the heat. Uh, it was a little cool in here to begin with, and then it got warm, and now I am seeing some sprouts come out the top, so that's awesome. That'll uh, have a lot more production. Kind of going through the beds. Bed number three, uh, my pepper bed, really doing good. The um, cayenne pepper and the jalapeno are the first to actually show growth of peppers. All the others have buds where the flowers are about to pop out. Uh, the tomato plant, uh, the heirloom big boy over there, it's uh, it's been growing well, not super fast, but it has put out some buds. Um, so soon to come. Bed two. These were planted at the same time. You can see how the husky cherry is just exploded compared to the better boy. Um, the, the husky cherry is just growing leaps and bounds every day. It's got a ton of flowers on it. Should be producing very soon. The, um, the zucchini, I planted a zucchini over here. And then some eggplant that are finally you know, starting to show some real good growth. And this little guy, this edamame, um, or edamame, is uh, just growing three leaves every day. It just keeps going and going. So pretty soon it'll grab one of these ropes and go on up. And then my favorite, strawberries. Uh, transplanted these into the system. They have just taken off. Uh, you can tell, you can see less of the rocks pretty soon. I don't even think you'll be able to see any of the media. Buds everywhere, little flowers, and some that have already flowered that are turning into strawberries. So that's nice to see. Hopefully have a good harvest for a good long while here. So. That's that, um, and just to cut the system back on so you can see the bio. Uh, the fan, as you can see, uh, also was replaced. Uh, I underestimated the size of the first 
fan, exhaust fan. I had it at 1,800 cubic feet per minute. I needed 3,000 after I recalculated. Um, so I finally got the vents balanced out on both sides to where they have kind of an equal flow. It really draws up this wall. The heat comes up, gathers the top, and I have, I got a, I've got about a five to seven degree swing from the ceiling down to the floor. Um, so that's nice. But um, you can see here, the uh, biofilter is starting to turn, but it, it works really well. It's, uh, it's definitely um, producing and going to be a, a vital part of the system, so I'm happy about, uh, happy about that. Well, that's about all the update I have for today. Have a good day, and I will see you shortly. Thank you.